Okay, here's David and Susan again. We got a phone call the other day and uh, a person was needing to have the height of a tree measured. And uh, we've talked about it before. I don't know if we've, I don't think we've had a recent video about it. Um, in forestry work, every forester carries a Biltmore stick. And we use this for measuring the diameter of a tree. We use it for measuring uh, logs that are down on the ground. You got a log scale stick on this side. And we use this, uh, this side, the Merritt hypsometer, for measuring how many 16 foot logs are in a tree. And to use this, you pace away from the tree 66 feet. This is designed to be 66 feet. And at 66 feet, if you put this end at the stump, this shows one 16 foot log. That shows two 16 foot logs and like that. And uh, that's, that's very handy. Uh, it's actually a time waster if you, uh, and you need to understand how to measure the height of a tree and you can save a lot of time. Because every time you measure a tree, if you pace out 66 feet from that tree, you know, you're doing 132 feet back and forth. Uh, and you can do much quicker than that. So uh, what you're using here is similar triangles. And we're going to do similar triangles, but we're going to do a different trick. So what you do, if you want to measure the height of a tree, or the merchantable height, you can do that too. Put, the, put your stick right at the corner of your eye. You want your stick at the corner of your eye, and you tip your head back. Put your hand out there and take hold of your stick. And what we've got now is, you know, this distance on my arm is the same as this distance on the stick. So you leave your head back, tip that up. And now I've got a triangle here. I've got that, that, and this coming back here, that's a triangle. And what I do then, with my head back, I roll my eye down, and I put my, the top of my hand right at the stump, or if you're measuring total height, down at the ground. Get that locked in, and then roll your eye up. And when you match the top of the stick with the top of the tree, you've got the total height. You're the same distance from that stump as the top is from the stump. So I'm going to do that again. I'll show you how you do that again. Tip your head back, put that at the corner of your eye, bring your hand up, stand that up, put that at the stump, roll your eye up, and you move forward and back until that matches up with the top of the tree. So we're, uh, we've got a tree out here. Can you see the tree there, Susan? She sees the tree. See that tree? You see the top of it against the sky and the uh, base of the tree there. So I'm going to see how I do on the height. So I tip my head back, put that up, stand it up, bring my hand down to the stump, and my stick is just a little bit taller than the tree, so I'm a little too far out. So I'm going to move up a pace. and just a little bit more. Okay, I'm matched up right there. And so I'm around 48, 49 feet. We've got a tape here on the ground. 48, 49 feet is the total height on that tree. Now you can get more sophisticated methods that'll get it exact, but you know, for most uses, you know, 48, 49 feet, that's, that's a good thing. Now the way you can use this practically Say you're wanting to drop that tree this way and you've got something over here you don't want to hit. Say there's a power line over there behind Susan and you're wondering, can I drop that tree this way and not hit my power line? You go to the power line and stand under that, do this, and if that tree is taller than your stick, it's going to hit your power line. If the tree is tall, if, if the tree matches that stick, it's going to hit you. It's going to touch you. So if your stick is taller than the tree, it's going to fall short. So you can use this to find out if you can drop a tree without hitting something. Uh, I use it like that quite a bit. Now, as far as measuring a tree out in the woods, when you're measuring timber, you can't be dragging a tape all the time. And foresters pace. We pace all the time. We learn to pace uh, 
during forest well, forest measurements and forest surveying. Uh, they really stress pacing, and you have to check it once in a while. But we, to do a, to to learn your pace, the easiest way is to measure off, uh, say 660 feet. That's 10 chains, and you start with your left foot. Count on your right foot. Two steps is one pace. And with me, I find that uh, 13 paces usually is right at 66 feet. And uh, pacing is normal walking. You don't take long step, it, it steps, it's normal walking. And you have to kind of concentrate to walk normally and you wear the same. You know, I'd like to do it in my boots. I, like to, I don't want to work in sneakers. You've got to do it in boots. And uh, you get pretty good at it. You feel comfortable with it. Now, if, you, if you're measuring timber, how often are you going to find 80 feet or, you know, five, if, or 66 feet? If you pace out 66 feet every time, uh, that is over four logs. Four logs would be 64 feet. And in Illinois, you don't find very many four log trees. So what I do with similar triangles, instead of using these numbers where I have to pace out 66 feet when I'm measuring timber, I pace out 32 feet instead. You, you, know, you get your diameter on your tree and find a horizontal line away from the tree where you can walk out and see the merchantable height and pace out 32 feet. When I get out 32 feet, I turn around and do this and put that at the stump, roll my eye up, and the top of that stick is going to be at 32 feet. And if the tree matches that, I've got a two log tree. If I can see it's got another eight feet above that, I've got a two and a half log tree. If it's you know eight feet under that, I've got a one and a half log tree. So by walking out 32 feet, I can measure almost any tree uh, for merchantable height out in an oak woods. And it say, you know it cuts off half your walking and marking in measuring your timber. So I'm going to go out to the tree and pace back and see if I can hit 48, I'm going to go, try to go for 50 feet. My pace is about 5 feet. I'll pace out 50, 10 paces and see if I come close to that and see if I'm good today. And I'm a little long today. <laughs> Took 10 paces and I'm right at 53 feet, so I'm a little long today. So you gotta check your pace once in a while. If you're doing an official measurement, you use you know, you use your tape every time. If you're just estimating timber for management purposes, you're gonna do it all with your feet. So anyway, I hope that was clear. Remember when you do this, you tip your head back. And the reason you do that is if, if you don't tip your head back, if you don't tip your head back, you can't roll your eye up far enough. Then you'll roll your head up to see the top, and that messes with your geometry. So you start with your head back, do this, you can roll your eye down, get the stump, go up, and you move forward and back until that matches, and then you measure to the tree and you've got your distance or or pace in if you're if if the exact number doesn't matter. So hope that's very clear. <laughs> Is it clear, Susan? Okay, Susan understands, but she does this. She knows how to do this. So thank you for the camera work, Susan, and we'll catch you all later. Thank you for visiting.